to the Dot Mom Consortium. <laughs> Good morning and welcome to Mom and Ed in the Morning with me, Mom, and him. Yeah, uh, the um, obnoxious Ed. <laughs> <laughs> well, Ed, I, I want you to know that somebody in chat described you as being sexy. So you're not obnoxious, apparently. You are sexy. <laughs> he has never seen me. <laughs> Sorry, dudes. <laughs> and girls. <laughs> um, well, okay, you can be self-deprecating, but, you know, sexy is in the eye of the beholder. Okay, I will turn my mirror. Uh, definitely. <laughs> well, I'm, okay, let's let's be honest. Think about it. Um, at one point, Patrick Stewart was rated as the sexiest man on television. An older, bald guy was the sexiest man on television. And I'm actually not arguing the point. He definitely was and still is, even at 80. Damn good looking and intelligent and well-spoken. So I, I don't think sexy is necessarily just the physical aspect. I think there's more to it than that. Perhaps not for guys thinking about women, but I think for women thinking about men. It's not just the physical. It's a lot up in the brain. But maybe that's um, just dudes. me. Yeah. Um, no, that's the, the kind of uh, discussion a man always loses. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not a guy. How could I possibly argue the male point of view either for it or against it going no 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 that's not sexy to a guy well i'm not a guy how the heck would i know and anybody who thinks they can know somebody else's brain regardless of gender is wrong you only can know you and most of us don't even know us how's that <laughs> And good morning for everybody out there on January 5th. I am sorry about canceling the show last night, but I decided I was going to do a leveling up show and power leveling and helping people with their ships, and then I went to make dinner, and I stuck my hand into the oven and grabbed a pan without a pot holder. And let's just say I spent the night holding on to ice bags, so I've still got these big red blisters all over my hand, but... Thank goodness, wasn't anything worse. Whew. Wow! Don't Did... tell me. E e even th e even the uh, uh, thinking of it. Well, the worst part is the part that I really burned here. Is where I rest my palm on my keyboard. So I went to try and play for a little bit and realized I had to keep my left hand closed up so nothing would touch it. And I started to play for a few moments, getting ready, and I'm like, nope, this is not going to happen today. I cannot do this. Oh, let me um, get off topic here. I Oh, it's just you and me. Well, I'll mention this later, too. Kel is looking for people to join him on his uh, live stream tonight, people who do interesting things in Star Trek Online. And since I was on it last year, I wasn't going to volunteer myself. But if you know anybody who might be interested or have something fun to say, they can just uh, send Kel a message in Twitter. Or, sorry, in tw yeah, in Twitter. Um, yeah. Um, I just can't. Well, I, you might know somebody. If you want to share um, the word. Word has been shaw, uh, shared in okay. uh, Club 47, a okay. German, um, German uh, Star Trek Online Discord uh, channel. Cool. So, um... If people are interesting, interested and have a story to tell, I am pretty sure they take note. Yeah, it, it was fun. We were able to talk about the book and the game and going to all the conventions last year. This year we were there and, I mean, we have stuff to say, but it's you know, egotistical for me to even apply for it, I think. Since there, I'm sure there's hundreds of other people out there with their own interesting stories. And that makes uh, the... Live streams when he talks to players, one of the more fun ones. I wish he would do it a little more often. Anyway, so, Ed, I have Zenkethi ships in space. I love that they define destroy Zenkethi ships in space. I'm looking, where is a grounded Zenkethi ship I could destroy by just the... Yeah, yes, th this is my... Uh, my <laughs> I know what they're going for. It's Battlezone versus Space. 
Um, that one's not super critical for me because I can go do Scylla and Charybdis and it'll let me kill off my destructible torpedoes. Uh, yeah, um, well, so I have um, actually um, a whole fair of stuff we can do in, on space and ground. Cool, what about um, that? Uh, stuff uh, number one is um, defeat captains on ground okay. and physical damage on ground. Perfect. Do you want to go this Federation is... or KDF? I would prefer Federation. Okie dokie. Let me grab a For that. better Federation tune. I just had this one down on Vothland and she needs a few more toys. She's got some good traits and skills, but toys aren't that great. Let's see, who's got better ground toys in this Federation? I think Kethka has better. Oh, you know what? My Jem'Hadar is usually good on the ground. Let me just take a real quick look at him. So, did you have a particular ground in mind? Um, there, uh, my... Mm, my, uh... Favorites would be... Um, if I recall properly, um, okay, it's always, um, Bakan and Pavo will both do. Okay, well, we... let me switch to the and... other account then, because I do have an Iconian TFO as one of the requirements, and Bug Hunt will kill that one. Yeah. Hmm. We'll grab Complicatus. And I've got an Iconian TFO, so that would be great. Let's see what she's got for... Eh, not that one, I think. I don't really like that one. I'll go that way. Okay. If you would like to invite Complicatus, she would be a very happy camper. Yeah, we'll give you a team invite. Dums. I accept your team invite. Are we queue? So it's the last full day of uh, Winter Wonderland and switch over. And I see we have a new event starting tomorrow, which is the Borg RA. Right a lot. Mm -hmm. I think it's Borg RA. Maybe it's RAs in general. Wee woo? Yeah. I just had to, to close the overview window. Uh, um, yeah, and if it's uh, if you need someone to hunt bugs, call for an engineer. <laughs> Apparently, we're going to be a short team today. Ah, there we go. Uh, it's just a matter of uh, g getting the connection done. So. Yeah, I was having, again, some interesting connectivity issues. But I thought, what the heck? It was happening in Chicago? But here I'm hardwired. So I did a really quick check to see if maybe the cables got a little loose when I was cleaning. And the cables got a little loose while I was cleaning. Yeah, poor Delver.
in the hole. Clear to proceed. There he is. We couldn't see Mr. Vanderveer. He's on location, did his thing. Well, you know how he is. Sometimes he's like, no, you didn't kill him all. I'm not going to come out. I'm scared. Okay, gun on this. You need Captain so I won't shoot this guy. Got it. Okay. I'll yeah, Orbital it. Strike is doing the job. Obi-Wan! Good morning, Obi-Wan! Morning! Thank you for the raid. We appreciate it. How are you doing this morning? I hope you had a good stream. I dropped uh, one of those pesty bugs just upon Van der Veer's head. <laughs> Hope he appreciates the gesture. Well, I love it when something drops on one of the uh, NPCs or on one of your tunes, and all you see are their feet sticking out like in the Wizard of Oz, you know, feet sticking out <laughs> from underneath the house. Oh, Bug Hunt and Pavo, Obi-Wan, are two standards. Though I think we really should make uh, Operation Wolf Into one of the our other standards. Might be, uh, might be also nice, but uh, it's uh, two uh, rather common TFOs and... Um, teams know quite well how to play them. I've and I really like them as well. Oh, yeah, absolutely. But as I was saying, the other one I'm really enjoying is Operation Wolf. With a good team, that is so much fun. And I'm just waiting for them to start scaling it into normal, advanced, and elite so that it can be a lot more fun. Let's go Delta today. <laughs>
Yeah, Obi-Wan was scaling your stream. One thing I tend to do is at one point or another during the day is I go in and make sure that my image looks right. Then I go back to just running it off uh, Streamlabs. Otherwise it gets a little too distracting. Well, that was fun, Ed. I got one of my two Iconian TFOs. Yeah, I got my captains, my damage on ground. There you go. And now I have first to clean my inventory before I can pick up the price backs. Well, while you do that, let me remind everyone that Kel put out an announcement on Twitter yesterday that he's looking for players who have interesting game-related or event-related uh, stories that they'd like to share on the live stream tonight. So, I did it last year. We were talking about our book and doing all the conventions. But if you have an interesting story, send him a Twitter, a twi uh, tweet, and he may be in contact with you. It was really fun last year. Uh, there was somebody who ran their game off of um, Excel spreadsheets. There was somebody else. There, obviously, we did the book in the conventions. And he had two other interesting people on. I strongly recommend, if you've got a fun story, send him your name. Because why not? Did I put this on shared? I did. I am so smart. Marty Morm in the morning? Okay. <laughs> hey, I cleaned up something this morning. It's my one thing a day. My one thing yesterday was I came in and uh, well, went to the grocery store and actually made a proper dinner as opposed to just buying something carry out. And then tried to grab the pan out of the oven without a grip. Um, I don't know what we're doing, Obi-Wan. We're, we're doing our daily endeavors. And whether that turns into TFOs or missions kind of depends on what we need to get done. And it's usually TFOs. Are we going to share these? Yes, we will share those. Now we come to my second uh, bunch of stuff that's okay. all space related. Okay, what have you got going? Um, maybe coolest one. Um, I, I like them all. I have Lucari TFOs that okay. might match well your St. Kathy ship because we can do a St. Kathy front. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Let me jump back over here. Let me grab Kethza off for that one, though, because she's equipped to do Zenkethi Front. Kethza is Klingon of Federation. Kethza is Federation. Does that work for you? I can go Absolutely. Okay. Uh, then I will call Mr. One Garlic, Aliamunus. Well, let me grab him. Obi Wan, do you in. want to join us for a little uh, St. Kathy front? I've invited Obi Wan to join us. I only have five Zenkethi ships, so that shouldn't be too difficult to do. Yeah, that sounds doable. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and queue us up for it. So I can remember how to spell. We are queued for Zenkethi Front Advanced. Let's see, is this Wednesday today? It's... Wednesday, yes. Wednesday. Okay, so there will be a uh, new universal dropping a little bit later. Wee-woo! Yeah, I got this, uh, this song. <clears throat> the 
song, yes. So I'm looking at the uh, scarf this guy is wearing, which just looks like a rainbow scarf. It doesn't look like it's anything else. Yeah, it is a rainbow scarf. Well, I'm looking to see if it's got like a Federation symbol on it, but it just looks like a rainbow scarf. That should be easy to knit. Yes, and Cathy, please be informed you are no longer enemy number one. We, the Borg, are back <laughs> on Federation side. There you are. It didn't want to let me launch my bomb. There it is. Yeah. My icon disappeared for a moment. I'm going to the west one. Ah. The, excuse me, the east one? East one, yes. Looks like Obi-Wan's got the last bomb. And on my way with a backup bomb. Cool. Oh yeah, I see you both there. Yeah, just um, just in case. Well done! Indeed. That was easy. Yeah. 
That one used to be like, oh god, no, send Kathy front. No. Um, it's um, all maids knew what to do. Yeah, and everybody that had enough. That is great. And everyone had enough equipment to do it right. That was yeah. great. Great, 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 great. Let's see. I don't need that. Don't you want and an let's F take o that and put that over there. I have more cool space uh, stuff to offer. There we go, got a bunch of those up there. We have a little bit of inventory room left. Uh -huh. There we go. I have a little room now. Yeah. More uh, cool things. I have 30 Terran ships, which would call for a counterpoint. I can do a counterpoint. Same team! Good morning, Hate. <laughs> well, yeah, Hate, last night I had uh, plans to be on. Everything was all planned, and then I put dinner in the oven, and then I took dinner out of the oven. Problem is, I took dinner out of the oven without an oven mitt and burned the crap out of my hand. But it's pink and puffy now, but way better. Yep. And Ninja invite Obi. Oh, uh, yeah, he's player one at Obi One. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, send him a. There he is. The problem with Lucari there ones. The problem with Lucari ones is there just he aren't very many Lucari TFOs. There's four Lucari the TFOs. O's and the one I'm willing to do over and over and over again is in Kathy Front, but that means it's an hour and a half because of cooldowns. <laughs> yeah. Alternate is um, the Drano Gauntlet that is um, uh, with, with various um, opponents, and <laughs> and then it comes to gravity kills that can be a pain. Yeah. So. Um, <clears throat> If you do it on normal, it's tolerable, but you know, it's still a pain. You have to do the taxi service with the hawking particles. <laughs> yeah. Otherwise, it does not conclude. And that is something that uh, if you uh, end in a, in, in a messy group, it's a <laughs> yeah, yeah. Plus, um, by the way, uh, I'm pretty sure the third base was just um, uh, made by a developer that said, hmm, you think you beat me? No, I beat you. Because <laughs> yeah. uh, that's too close to the damn black hole. You have to wonder. <sighs> we will? Yeah. Pretty sure that was kind of a revenge for people beating the Kobayashi Maru scenario. <laughs> Who do you think you are? Kirk? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that is definitely a... Oh, it's an elder. Gosh darn it, no wonder. Yeah, there's got to be that happy medium for developers between not making it too easy and challenging themselves to make it fun. How hard can I make it? But if it's not winnable at some level, it's not fun. So, let's see, um, 
What's the tough one? Battle of Corfez. With proper equipment and a proper team, it's winnable. Is elite only, and um, that is so um, just a no go for many players. Yep, but it, because it's only one, there's only one of those like that. It's not like there's a whole level of elites that's limited, it's like a challenge. And you don't have to take the challenge. You don't get any super extra prizes for accomplishing it. Uh, that is one, one thing. Uh, B Battle of Corfez is... Um, yeah, but... Um, I re rate badly on elite-only stuff. But there is only one elite-only. So it's fine. I never was interested in doing the challenge until... You know, Boom and Mark and DT and I and a couple others decided it would be fun one night to give it a try, and we failed miserably. One thing, how do you learn to play the dance, uh, damn thing by doing it? You don't, and that's one of the problems with Star Trek Online, is that if you don't have somebody who's done it successfully, it's almost impossible to learn how to do it. Hence, we didn't learn how to do it till somebody who else who had done it stopped in and said, hey, do this. You need yeah, that. You need a drill instructor. You do. You absolutely need it. Okay, we lost a mate. Player Ooh. one got a. Obi Wan. Obi Wan, we barely knew you. Yeah, they killed Kenny! <laughs> We shall avenge you, but you've got damage on you. Do you have any repairs? Repair applied. Says I can list. Nice. Okay, that's four. Let's see if I can get around to those guys. You can go for that one. I'll try and go for this one. close. We've got about 41 seconds. Let's see if we can get this one here. Darn it. Nice. 11. 11 portals, Ed. Yeah. Don't think we can get... Nope. Lens worked fine. Can't get back to the other one in time. Yeah, it sure did. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna camp out on Terraknor and just blast it. See if we can knock it down fast enough. Yeah, we'll join you for okay. that. And uh, unexpectedly, 
that space station has an aft arc, a rear arc on the space station. Does it really? And we got 12 portals! Yes! Nice. For renovation of Terrapnor. So, being a round thing aft, I'm going to presume, is the side farthest from uh, DS9? Um, just look on your targeting icon. Oh, yeah. When the small triangle in mm -hmm. the shields are, yeah, is on the bottom, you are in the rear arc. Here. Rear arc here. Okay. You know how good I am with sides, just directions and all that stuff. For some reason, that part of my brain does not work. Yeah, but I think we pack uh, good damage. Considering she's already complaining, yeah, we're good. assimilated everyone else in our reality to... <laughs> I'm liberated. No, we do not assimilate anymore. How's that, Lita? Having fun? It's a good day for you, Lita. Okay, I start doing the taxi service. Okay. Beat her up a little bit more here and then join you in a little bit. The ship is not super maneuverable. When you've started the beaming, you can just uh, take up speed and start turning again. It's uh, you do not need to stay and deliver. It's like the um, the transporters are. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I just have to make kind of these giant swoopy arcs to make it. Let's get her below 45 and I will join you. We're taking too much damage. Deploy defensive countermeasures. Oh, you're taking too much damage. You have taken too much damage when your mom dropped you on ground and you <laughs> Nothing wrong with insulting Lita. Um, mirror Lita. Yes. <laughs> Me flying along. Deploy defensive countermeasures. 
Driving a wardrobe and still doing taxi service. <laughs> Ah, but Juggernaut, can, you can make it an other ship? People just don't believe it. Most funny stories was when a, a friend of mine returned to Star Trek Online mm -hmm. and tried to dock at the stars, uh, space station that turned out to be a bot Juggernaut. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, Ed. How are you doing? Excuse me. Oh, lead is having a bad day. Yep. With one mate uh, le less, uh, it's oh. um, working. Know. It's going on fine. Be awesome with five. Deploy defensive countermeasures. Yeah, um, twelve portals already. That uh, w was a good sign. Yeah. Okay. Let us return over there and. Beat the snot out of her reinforcing dreadnoughts. Yeah, it's ten seconds to. Had it worth my big Borg monster torpedo? Ability built into the ship. <laughs> you haven't seen the last of me. Olita. I'll take my toys and go home. Nobody likes me anymore. <laughs> Well, it did. It went very well. Let's see. I apparently have a I'm going to finish the last of my epos and make sure they all get turned in by tomorrow for once, so I don't have eighty-five epos sitting in my inventory. Ah, uh, yeah. Who needs stuff? Nobody here needs stuff. Take discovery stuff though. Let's see. I think I'll turn in a few reputation marks. Those guys. Hmm. I have winter item for a bargain. Well, that'll keep me from finding the lithium for a few days. Yeah, we'll be one having a team that knows what it's doing is great, and especially when, as Ed pointed out, we only had four people. <coughs> that makes it all the better. 
Oh, and somewhere in there I actually got one destructible torpedo. Woohoo! You had a... <laughs> one destructible one torpedo. One destructible torpedo. I'm going to switch over because I have some phaser damage in space on the other... I think it's phaser damage on the other account. Yeah. I would send you a Federation Smalley tune for that. Okie dokie. Let's double check. If it's phaser, it's battle mom. Yeah, can you imagine how good it would have gone if we'd had five? Well, I'm not going to say that. Yeah, I have 500,000 oh. of phaser damage in space, and this tune is not a fabulous tune, but she's got some phasers, so we can have some fun here. Uh huh. I will send you a team invite. Alrighty. It's Battle Mom. Yes, Battle Mom. Invite to team. Oops, let's close that and go there. Go. Are we TFOing? We are patrolling. Oh, we're patrolling. Okay. Um, I have um, unspecified WAF ships, and that, of course, calls we for an aftermath. Yes, it does. Launching. Launching. Understood, Ed. Good morning, Mr. Dave. If you want to kill those, how many Voth do you have to do? And, well, you do and those? it's also kind of, um, for me, it's now learn to fly, cause... Um, the beam overload ship against what? Which is um, yeah. Well, I'm over here on beta. Yeah, for myself. Job. Thank you. We'll make our way to a base. Oops. Still unconsolidated. It's because I actually like the Carl keybinds better. The first one you wrote me, or excuse the me, not Carl, the uh, eight eight ball. But eight I ball, like yeah. I like Carl better for when we're doing conventions because it's easier to teach people. Um, yeah, that was my idea. <laughs> Easy to learn. <laughs> but I'm so oh, okay. in the habit of the other one, so I have to go back and think. Okay, which one do I like better? Good morning, Pi. I am definitely uh, feeling heck of a lot better than last night. Thanks for asking. Still feel stupid, but that's a different story, isn't it? The Binford 1000? That's brilliant, Ed. Something's in one. <laughs> Lilo Dennis' multipass on part of the Binford 1000. Though the fifth element would be probably more in, in character, but. Yeah. Well, there are already many Flaston paradises out there. I do not know of any Binford 1000s. And it's, um... How is your damage? Eh, halfway. Okay, so, uh, as I have... I'm... Um, 60%. 
math. I love to be able to do the numbers in my head. Figure the day I can't do the numbers in my head, and it's not going to be a good day. Oh well. Uh, 76%. So not bad. Would let you do the final battle. Okay. And if that's not work, we can poke Madron in the ears. Tracking a large force incoming. <laughs> oh. I, I walked into something <laughs> just just not planned that way. That did not go as planned. Okay, I see just uh, space traits not set. Yuck! That Hold explains it. a little bit while I'm... Um... Shoot anything you want, I'm at 98%. I'm at 100%, go for it. Okay. First, now confuse them with a little bit of light. Alrighty. What do I want for this tune? Ooh, stuff, apparently. Okay, energy refrequencer. Check. Precision. Check. Advanced targeting systems. Check. For now, I pick uh, extra hull. Ma. Okay. Saving. Checking done. And grab me some marks. Always good, grab marks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see. So, folks, don't forget today's last full day of Winter Wonderland. Uh, it's, it's on tomorrow till <clears throat> 10 a.m. Pacific time, which is 1 o'clock my time. I think. Probably be a patch tomorrow, so don't count on that 10 o'clock.
I think the only thing we don't have for recipes... Well, I'll double check. I think we're short on one recipe. Uh, the Trixie and Bubble Juice. <clears throat> I could be wrong. Well, let me get a sip here. Tlaxi candy. <coughs> you sure it's Tlaxi and candy? <clears throat> it's the Trixie and candy, and I think I picked up one of those yesterday. Well, we have the recipes. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, do we have the recipes. <laughs> yeah, and I think we do have at least one of the Trixie and ones, because uh, I think I, I put it over uh, today. Do you have a search function on the fleet bank? No, do we? Do you... Even you. Like a filter? Yeah, there are filters. But is okay, you can at least, uh, when, when you have a wall of recipients, you can at least... Oh no, they're they're all color coordinated and categorized, Ed. I mean, we've got them in order. It's or, wow! Just, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Wait a second. Yeah, let me switch over to Kethva briefly. Works better when I can spell. So, Hi, Pi. Let's see, we're all color coordinated here in storage. We've got our Deca tea loaves, we've got our candy grub tubes, we have our Rippleberry cake, we have our jelly grey worm, our snail doodles. <gasps> oh, two are out of order. Somebody has not been organized here. Let's see. Okay, that's low fat, and that's knock knocks. Yeah, so now they're all color coordinated there. And these haven't been the Pylandia, but technically those are pies. We, we do try and keep this perfectly organized over here so it's nice and tidy. Yeah, so here in Pylandia, they're a little more chaotic. Winter items for a bargain. But yeah, last year this was completely full in the storage and in the Winter Wonderland and in everything else. So we will probably go through there and get that ready for uh, Ryza. One rum, one kava juice, one minty. Let's see what we've got here. So, is that a minty right there? It's a minty, a kava, and one rum. Do you, that's one we're missing. Pi, do you have a rum there? Can I steal your rum, or do you need that one? A wise man can hear profit in the wind. Okay, let me send those to you, Hate. And then I probably should Happy log off apples. here. Okay, there's your rum, your kava, and your minty. There you go. I have not touched your trinkets and ornaments by I promise. And I have another Talaxian candy there. And I'm trying to send some over, but my mail is full. <laughs> my mail is full, really. A wise man How did that happen? Alright, I should log off here, folks, and sign off for the day. <laughs> oh, God, and we've got more for emergencies. <laughs> 
So on behalf of Mom and Ed in the morning, have a great day, everybody. Um, tonight's show, we're not doing a live stream tonight, but Kel is, and he is going to be talking with players. So if you have an interesting story, get in touch with Kel. Uh, you can communicate with him on Twitter and tell him why you are an interesting person he should interview. He interviewed me last year along with some others. It was a blast and good for the ego and great for the game. So, Ed, you want to say goodbye and we can log off here? Uh, hold on a second. Pi, do we want to raid somebody? And thank you, Mr. Dave. I will have a good day today. Otherwise, we could give um, Wolfie a visit. Well, let's raid Wolfie then. So let me jump over there onto Wolfie land. Oh, Pi's working there. Oops, wrong one. And everybody, um, prepare for a good day. Yes. And you know what? Stay awesome! Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. He also would that come th uh, come through. Two, one, raid. <laughs>